Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're gonna to be doing an Infinite Fuel 4 Furnace setup. Now, what's great about this, guys, you can actually add whatever you want on the top furnace, well, on the top chest, and that is gonna go trinkle right into the furnace underneath. And once it's done, all those items are gonna go directly into the chest in front of you with no headaches, which is great. It's a perfect setup, and what's awesome about it, guys, you don't have to worry about coal, wood, or any type of fuel source to light these bad boys up because all it's using is a carpet, which we'll get later to in the video. But not to worry, it's gonna be really fun to make this. And at this point, pause the video and make sure you have this item list before you continue. All right, now once you got that all set up, these are gonna be dimensions about five tall, six wide, and seven long. And the first thing you're gonna do is add your two large chests right in the center. And behind the chest, you're gonna add two hoppers on both sides. Then you're gonna add a furnace right on top of each hopper. Now at this point guys, you don't have to use a furnace. You could use a blast furnace or even a smoker. It's really your choice how you wanna set this up. Then you're gonna add a hopper right on top and a hopper right behind each furnace. Then you're gonna add a large chest like so. One on this side, one on this side. Then you're gonna add a block right in the bottom with a comparator on top going outwards. Then you're gonna add a hopper on each side going towards the chest. Fantastic. And on top here, you're gonna add four large chests right across in this pattern. Now in the front, just to cover up these hoppers, you're gonna add a trap door. Just look at that nice aesthetic. And on top of the chest, you're gonna add a stair like so, so you can open it, but still cover the front end. Then you're gonna wrap it around with some plaques of your choice. All around like so. And if you want to, you can even add some logs on both sides, connect it on top and add some stairs right underneath just to give a little bit of detail and trimming. But at this point, you can really decorate this to your own style. Now back to the back end, you're gonna add a target block right in front of each comparator. Then add a block underneath and one on the side and break that one. And do the same thing on this side. Add one, two, three, break the one underneath, and then again, one, two, three, break that one, and all you have to do is add two pieces of redstone dust on both sides. So the target block prevents the hopper from getting locked. Then you're gonna add a sticky piston right on top with two slime blocks right in front of it, and you're gonna add some dead coral fans with a carpet right above it. You can use any type of dead coral fan. It's really your choice, but just make sure you add a carpet on top and at this point, you're gonna add an observer block right here with the activation facing downwards and the face part going upwards. Now you can add obsidian on both sides here, or you can use a furnace or any kind of block that doesn't get affected by slime, like terracotta or just any block. I think furnaces are the best, but obsidian is a guaranteed no-brainer. Then you're gonna add eight furnaces here in the middle, four on this side, and then two on both sides like so. You really wanna cover up that entire area so none of the carpet seeps out. Now, if you want to, you can use a block or glass. You're gonna add two here, one on top of the chest, and just simply cover up this entire area. And in the middle, guys, add four glass blocks like so, and one right here on top of that chest. Make sure whatever you put on top of the chest doesn't lock the chest. Now, Another thing you could do is, which is also optional, this chest is hopper going down where the furnace is at, add one piece of dirt in the last four slots. You see? Because in the back end, dirt will not slide into the furnace. So you could just fill up those spots because you don't need it. You just need that first slot open. And you're gonna do that to each hopper. And just place that here and here as well. Like I said, guys, it's completely optional, but trust me, just, it's easy. Then last but not least, place a button to activate those pistons and just let it run. Let it just prime up the system. And at one point, once that gets to a two rest on signal, it's gonna turn off the actual pistons. And that's it guys, the system is full. Once again, thank you so much. If you can hit that subscribe button and that like button and that notification bell so you get the latest updates every time I post a video. Once again, thank you so much. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.